Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We get so many questions, as you very well imagine, about software, and some questions about hardware. Hardware is typically, for me, a little more difficult to get into because there's so many options out there. I just can't afford everything and unfortunately a lot of the manufacturers do not send me hardware to look at um, and, and hold on to. That is usually what I like to do with hardware as most geeks do. Uh, but we had a question come in from a, a chat regular saying external GPU solutions. GPU by the way stands for graphical processing unit uh, and that would be a video card in essence. It was a rumor for a while. I even saw some concept sketches from ATI. Rumor or not, I don't know. That with so much heat and power consumption by bleeding edge graphics card, the 8800 series, etc., and that's an NVIDIA uh, a series of video cards, that they were considering putting them into an external enclosure with a dedicated power supply and a high speed PCIe 16 uh, speed interconnect. Any position on such a move by the big two, NVIDIA or ATI? I've spoken with one person who has a solution just like this, and he loves it. He loves his external solution because he has it plugged in to his laptop somehow. And this allows him to run very powerful graphics on his laptop without, because you can't really easily update the video card in your laptop, if you have the option to connect an external unit to it, suddenly you've got more power. In fact, they're even working on different kind of connections for monitors that can bypass the traditional connections for monitors so that people can have better and more options with their various computing uh, experiences, whether they be mobile, whether they be desktop based. So in my opinion, is this a good move? I think it's awesome. Personally, uh, since, since the video cards seem to be that one peripheral that seems to get upgraded on a regular basis, largely because of the demand for gaming and high-end uh, graphics that, that you know, whether it's uh, dealing with video in some cases, uh, graphic cards uh, can help offset some of that load, specifically with encoding, um, like MPEG-2 processes and whatnot. Uh, I think uh, having an external solution certainly makes it easier to upgrade, uh, certainly makes it more portable, and certainly offloads a lot of the heat from uh, the potentially inside the case. A lot of people who do system tweaking will sometimes run uh, water cooling uh, for uh, cooling down the, the heat inside their PC, whether it's uh, specifically on the memory that they might be overclocking, or whether it's on a CPU that they might be overclocking, and the overclocking is basically uh, setting this, the settings for these hardware components at a higher level than they're actually rated to go. And using super cooling techniques, you can push the limits of your hardware, but of course you can also incur great amounts of damage, and this stuff is very expensive. So taking this in component, the, the video component, and taking it outside the regular case, yeah, it's going to be some extra room on the desk, but like I said, the guy who's been using something like this, he loves it. So that may be a situation that certainly uh, calls for it. Uh, I think it's another great option uh, that people are giving. Um, so this may help cases become a little smaller, uh, cooler, and uh, you know certainly still give you as much power if you're able to offload you know some of the stuff from the case. And I know that sounds odd. Well, why would you want it external? Well, to me, if I was able to get more power from an external device than an internal device, I'd go for it. Um, it's more power, of course. It's like speed, uh, raw speed and performance, uh, without having to worry about you know damaging the entire system. It's another component I can plug and play, so to speak. Uh, more importantly, you the way you really can't see the way I have my uh, system set up, but the computer that I've got, an AMD system, is actually behind my desk. So I can hear it, it's behind my desk, but I never actually see all the cables and cords and clutter that's back there. And that's fine by me. That's the way, I don't, I don't want to fool around with it, have it sitting on a desk and whatnot. It's just not an elegant solution. It's just going to be back there. So putting uh, a video card, external unit back there doesn't button bother me a bit. Uh, I'm all for it. I, I don't think uh, you know many people would dissuade the manufacturers, ATI and NVIDIA or any external video card potential manufacturer uh, dissuade them from doing this. It's just another option. Uh, I'm sure there's benefits as well as drawbacks, and I think a lot of those will kind of play out as this particular product uh, goes more mainstream. I think I think the benefits are going to far outweigh the negatives if they're done correctly, and my guess is they're catering, catering this specifically to gamers, so I don't think they're going to launch anything that gamers are not going to be happy with, and if they're not happy, they're going to complain, and when people complain, products 
knock on wood, should change. Uh, what do you guys think about the external solution versus the internal solution? Uh, have you tried one? Have you seen one in, in application? I mean, actually working? Uh, we're looking for the opinions, thoughts. Uh, I'm not really interested in getting into an NVIDIA versus ATI war at this point because really um, both of them have benefits and drawbacks and we've gone into that before. Or of course if you've got you know some uh, something to share with the chat room you can swing by. We're always there helping people and uh, people haven't already populated up. Oh, Pat Hawks is the first person to do it and by the way Pat Hawks, uh, he used to live across the street from me when I lived in Iowa. Uh, in fact a couple of years ago, well when I lived in Iowa, he dressed up like me for Halloween. I kid you, Pat Hawks, isn't that true? He dressed, you talk about scary. Uh, he dressed up like me for Halloween. And I still have that picture. That's right. You don't think I, I remember that. I saved the picture. I should show everybody now. I'll embarrass you. Anyway, uh, I promise not to make fun of you uh, too much, at least, if you swing by the chat room at live.perillo.com.